Hellcat Pro Comp. What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'll be comparing the Sig Sauer X Macro and the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro Comp. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, we know that Springfield Armory just came out with the comp version for their Hellcat Pro. And of course, we're all saying it, it's kind of what Sig Sauer did with the X Macro. And so the X Macro, for those of you who don't know, has a two port compensator at the very front and it's on the actual frame of the pistol. Now with the Hellcat Pro Comp, the actual port is on the front and the front sight's behind that. The compensator is on the frame, but it's also on the slide here. So if you can see that right there, the actual compensator is also cut into the barrel of the firearm. Does it look goofy? I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that the barrel is actually cut as well. I mean, but when I'm shooting it, it does feel a little bit different than when I shoot the X Macro. There it is, this is what we have in size. The Hellcat Pro Comp is about 3.7 inches. The X Macro is about 3.75, about 3.8. So the size of both pistols really don't differ in size. I think we're gonna see some really big comparisons when I start shooting. So with that being said, I got these loaded up. Let's go shoot some steel and compare these. All right, we're gonna start with the Hellcat Pro Comp. We're approximately about 16 yards away from the steel target. I'm gonna shoot just consecutively and then go to the X Macro and kind of give you my take. So here we go. Whew, <laughs> yeah, that, that feels really good. I like that. All right, now let's try the X Macro, here we go. Probably helped to turn the optic on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on. Is it? Yeah, it's good. Here we go. Oh man, that's that's pretty brutal. I, that's tough. That is tough. So in the Hellcat Pro comp video, I do say that the X Macro feels sharp in the hands. I would say that's still true. It does feel less soft than the Hellcat Pro Comp. So I'm gonna go reload, shoot some more, and kind of give you my take. So let's go reload. It, it feels good. The X Macro has always felt good to me. It's just a tad bit longer and larger. I mean, you do feel a difference because of how long the pistol grip on the X Macro is, but it's not anything, you know, it's not that big. It's just a tad bit longer to accommodate the 17 round magazine, which is still crazy to me that they can fit 17 rounds. So once again, I'm gonna shoot from right here. We're gonna do, uh, at this point, we're probably what? Probably like 25 yards away from the steel target. Uh, let's go Hellcat Pro Comp and the next macro. All right, here we go. Yeah, I can feel a lot of the recoil, just feeling it feeling that in my hands and my wrist a lot more. Now that I have more rounds through it, I can definitely tell that the comp is working to try to mitigate all that recoil. So, I mean, the follow-up shots are still there, still feels good, performs well. And I, like I said, the uh, it's locking back now, which is good. I must've been covering up that slide release on my end in the other video. So that could explain it. Now, here we go, X Macro. Okay, I will say the X Macro is kind of butter. As far as the trigger, the trigger pull, and the wall, basically almost no wall. I mean, there, there is some take up, there's a little bit of wall, but it does, man, it does feel like butter. Where the Hellcat Pro feels soft and buttery, but when I press that trigger, I can feel that recoil through my hands. So it's like, ah, you know, Again, very minute, very small details, but that's only because I'm shooting two compact pistols with compensators 
back to back. And so I'm obviously going to nitpick, you know, each pistol and their their things about them. So just make note of that. All right, we still got a few more in the X macro. The one thing I kind of dislike about the X macro is that at the bottom of the magazine, the plate, does stick out just a little bit. The Hellcat Pro Comp sits flush. Tends to be a little bit skinnier. I think the length of that pistol grip to me is just a little long. Plus it kind of protrudes with the magazine plate at the bottom. I don't know, just some things I'm noticing when I'm comparing both of these where maybe I wouldn't have known those things had I not compared both of them. So, all right, let's go shoot some more. For this drill, I'm gonna start over there. I'm gonna do two shots there, two shots here run to the chair, two shots, and back until I empty the magazine. And we'll do that for both pistols. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with Hellcat Pro Comp. Here we go. Lock. Here we go. Next macro on the beep. So that test right there running to three different points was actually quite difficult because I'm in I'm in kit. Uh, plus it's just really fast and like, you know, gotta get shots on target. So I would say that I performed a lot better and a lot smoother with the X macro versus the Hellcat Pro Comp. Again, I do chop that up to um, experience on the X macro versus less experience and less time on the Hellcat Pro Comp. Now, the question I have for you guys is, is the Hellcat Pro something that you're going to go out and get to upgrade your current Hellcat Pro Comp or maybe replace like a 43X or an X Macro and the Hellcat Pro Comp is now gonna be a part of your everyday carry? We'd love to know, let me know in down in the comments. At this point, in my opinion, I don't have enough rounds through the Hellcat Pro Comp to actually give like a, an actual statement of, this is better than this because of this. To be honest, I do think the Hellcat Pro Comp shoots fairly well. I do think those follow-up shots uh, are clean versus its original Hellcat Pro, but maybe not as clean as I was getting some good follow-up shots on the X Macro on the steel. So for that, again, experience and time on the X Macro. But overall, I do think if you go with something like the Hellcat Pro Comp, you're not gonna regret it. I think it's, um, a good potential for everyday carry. It's a good shooter for sure out here on the range. And of course the X macro is the X macro. And so far I've had honestly zero malfunctions through either of these. And I've had the X macro for about a year, uh, maybe a year and some change. X macro still have no malfunctions. I guess if you do count the not locking on the last round, maybe that might be a malfunction, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys an understanding of how well they shoot and how they compare to each other, at least for me, uh, out here on the range. And so with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any other thoughts, please comment down below and I will catch you guys in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Yeah, really great solid guns. Really good, really, really good.